Hey guys, welcome to Abby's Auras or welcome back if you've been here before. Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so I have been talking about this topic quite a lot on my Instagram this week. If you want to follow my Instagram, it is down below. That is where I'm most active. Um, so yeah, as you can see by the title, it's all about, um, you know, loving our body. It is about cosmetic surgery. Um, I will be mentioning, as a disclaimer, I will be mentioning eating disorders, um, you know, changes to your body, um, fillers, filters, um, and just things like that. I just don't, if I, if this will trigger you, um, then I just wanted to let you know, um, before maybe if you don't want to watch it, then you can hop off now, but I am not going to be looking in at this from a judgmental way. Um, none of you will know this, but I actually had fillers and I had my eyebrows microbladed on. So these are actually eyebrows that are microbladed. I didn't really have any. This is my real hair. All of this, this is my real hair. All of this is not real. Um, the fillers aren't in my lips anymore. They've not been for like way over a year. Um, probably even more actually. They've been gone, but I just wanted to let you know that it's not coming from a place of judgment to people that have fillers or use filters because I also use them sometimes um, and yeah things like that um, or any like maybe like um, whatever cosmetic surgery like I'm not going to put anyone down for it completely not what this video is about it's actually about the opposite I want to really empower women to be whoever they are authentically and be proud of it so if that means that you are going to do something like that then I support you and if that means that you're going to look through it in a different way um, like I am currently and just in the natural way of just completely stripping everything back and loving myself unconditionally then I also support you so you know or you could do a bit both like I don't know like do whatever suits you basically and i support everyone so i just want you to know that i love you you are unconditional love to me and i feel like you are beautiful because you're you and no one can tell you different and if they do then it's just their mindset they're not in the right place right now so don't listen to them so i actually had an eating disorder growing up um, I was the chubby baby and I, um, my sisters would laugh about this one picture of me when I was a baby. It stuck with me for a very long time. Then I went to school and I was like, I felt like I was the chubbier kid out of everyone. Um, yeah, just a lot of insecurity there. And then when I was in high school, I just would never understand if a a boy would talk to me I would always think that they was joking I really didn't believe that they could um you know fancy me or think I was attractive I just didn't get it I felt like everyone was always I was made fun of when really it actually wasn't that it was just my insecurities so um now I'm a lot older I kind of feel better about myself and I've really really been putting in the time to love myself unconditionally and to really step into my wholeness and my goddess energy if you must so anyways yeah i basically developed um an eating disorder because of my insecurities which is really really not fun and um i used to see eating as like losing the battle when really it wasn't, I was just disconnecting myself from my body even more than I already was. Like now I love yoga and I love to, um, you know, love my body. I literally, um, well, like when I'm putting my lotion on or something after the shower, like my after some right now, cause it's so bloody hot. 
I will like tell myself like I love you like I love you 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 like all of my body I'm so proud of what my body has been through every single bit of it I am proud that I got over my seizures I am proud that I was able to give birth twice I'm proud of every little cold or cough I got over it I'm proud that I is able to take me from birth to where I am now and adapt to every situation and carry myself in my true authentic way now and I am still not where I want to be but I'm heading there and I'm proud of it so I don't care about what other people think anymore and that's a really weird place to be I used to care so much and then I shifted into okay well my spiritual awakening I was like I don't care what anyone thinks of me anymore but then deep down I did and then it's gotten even deeper and I'm like okay like I definitely don't care about anyone what anyone thinks about me they have voiced their opinions about me and I'm like it's your opinion it's fine and I'm fine because I feel like if I always let myself listen to other people's opinions of me and if I take them on as my own then that becomes my problem that's what happened with the eating disorder and you know I really did see myself as this huge person when really I wasn't and I was actually very poorly but I didn't see it so I want to say like it it winds me up because I feel like in the media there's, there is, it's definitely changing, I will put that out there, but in the media, they only put like skinny models on um, the, actually even skinny, I've even been, like I don't even like that word, like just slimmer, they, they only put like slimmer models on, um, you know, the catwalks and in the magazines and everywhere you see, there's just a picture perfect person that people are trying to be like and inspire to be like and everyone is using these cosmetic surgeries and these fillers and filters and it's kind of putting a blanket over the problem I did it I am actually on a filter detox right now so like I've told myself I'm not going to use fil filters for a whole month. I'm not going to do it. I'm not using them because I realise that every now and then I wouldn't do it and I would put it on my Instagram because, and I never, these, my YouTube videos are never filtered. But like, um, I feel like on Instagram, if I want to grow my Instagram, I want to grow it as me and I don't want to grow it as this person behind a filter. Um pretending to love herself and then sharing with others how they should love themselves I want to truly love myself and I really want it and um, if someone wants to like my picture I want them to like it because they like the post not because of they like the filter I'm using you know like I don't want to be like oh this this post got this many likes and this didn't you know I just I don't care I want to be me and not care about the algorithm okay and I know this is like I also do this as a business but I don't care like it's gonna grow or it's not like I'm gonna be myself and it's hard to do that on Instagram sometimes because it has to be insta worthy when you know it has to be all set up in a perfect way it has to be all the lighting and the um the perfect skin no blemishes no stretch marks screw that like actually screw that I'm at a point where I'm like nah I don't care I would rather never grow than to be fake and not love myself because I'm trying to be something for other people so I just feel like honestly I'm just gonna be myself now and I encourage everyone else to try it out for themselves like try using no filters for a month and see how you change because I didn't really see the big deal about it well, I did. I've always seen the big deal about it. But like, I didn't see um, how harmful filters have been until I I took a picture of myself without a filter and went to post it. And then I was like, oh, I can't post that. And then I was like, wow, take a step back, rewind, 
post it. Even if you hate it, post it. Because you're not allowing um, a filter ha to have control of your life. Whether you, you can't post something because it's not the perfect filter. That's crap. That's a little... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, calm down. So, it's the same with cosmetic surgery. Like, if you feel like you just want to look like someone else because they look more beautiful than you, then rethink about it. Really, like, you know, look into it. But, like, really think about what you're doing to your body because you are beautiful the way you are. You don't need any of these things. And I used to think that I needed all of these things, hence the reason why I got some of them. And now I'm like, screw it. No, like, I don't care what other people think anymore. And I want to love myself for me. And honestly, it feels so much more freeing. I feel like I'm not stuck in this little box of trying to be perfect and trying to um you know fit in because I don't even like fitting in I don't want to fit in I just want to be myself and whatever comes with that comes with it so yeah I just wanted to just kind of get the conversation going um about how these things are really changing ourselves it's becoming so normal to have all of these um uh, adjustments to our body um, and that is kind of becoming the normal thing. Whereas, why can't we just be normal as the way we are? You know, why do we have to have all of them to look good enough? Really ask yourself, like, what do you want? Do you want to look good because that's the way you look good? Or do you want to look good and just radiate your energy? Because honestly, working on your energy is going to make people so much more attracted to you as a person not trying to be like oh that's how you get like a guy or a girl like no I just mean your energy like people will love your energy when you're feeling good yourself when you really learn to love your body like I wow I breastfed fed my daughter and I honestly I'm working on loving that part of my body but like it doesn't matter how long it takes, just saying it out loud that, you know, you're working on something and you're going to get through it doesn't mean I'm ever going to edit pictures so they look different. Not a chance. But if I feel insecure, then I'm like closing myself off and dimming my light. Whereas I can just be like, no, I'm going to be my, you know, my true self. And yes, I might be scared to show up with no filter, but I'm going to try it. And I'm going to try and just feel excited and then honestly most of the time we think let's say we're going to walk into a bar we think that oh everyone's going to be staring at me everyone's going to be focusing on what I'm wearing everyone's going to be looking at this area of my body or this area of my body and I'm so nervous when really everyone's just thinking the same thing most people in there are probably thinking the same thing or they're just having a good time and enjoying you know their time, their night. So stop worrying about what other people think. Try to um promote, you know, um no like just authentic, your authentic self. Like if everyone could see it more often then it would become more normal and we wouldn't feel as scared to not use a filter or go get fillers or wear hair extensions or any of that things because I used to be a beautician. I loved like, you know, like playing with makeup and I used to do nails and things like that. I love it. I think it's fun to do. But then there's a part of a time in your life where you've done that for so long and it kind of becomes your identity. And then when you strip that back, you feel like naked. I used to literally, when I'd have my nails took off, I would literally feel naked and I would hide my hands they're my hands. They are beautiful. I actually have, I have tattoos, but I actually have my mum's fingers. Like these were my hands that my mum, these looked like my mum's hands. She's passed away now. Why am I thinking, oh, let's hide these because I have no nails on. Screw that. Show everyone my beautiful hands. Do you know? Like it's not just about fillers and filters. It's about everything. It's just 
seeing if you can take that step back and if you're enjoying it and you're doing it because you really love and want to express yourself in a new way and like wear like fun um color in your hair and things like that then do it it's fun i'm not taking the fun away from it but just check in with yourself every now and then maybe post a picture of um no makeup and no filters and you know every now and then just to keep checking in with yourself that you can do it still and you're still not feeling that disconnect from your your body because that's all that these are doing they're just it's not real this these filters aren't real like if we alter it alter our body and have like these bum implants then one they're highly 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 unsafe it's the most unsafe procedure out there, I'm pretty sure. And I'm sure whoever gets it will look beautiful, completely stunning. But also, you don't need to do that to look beautiful and stunning. So, yeah, I just wanted to open the conversation today. I will be doing more videos about this. Um, but today was just kind of a little tester and dipping my toe in the water. And to tell everyone that let's all try and just not use filters for a month let's all just try and look in the mirror in the morning and just tell yourself i love you you're beautiful as you are you are whole you are enough you are worthy you're powerful and when you actually look into your eyes in the mirror and speak to yourself it goes directly to your soul it doesn't it's not kind of like a passing comment like it goes deeper it's more intense so if you want to change the way that you feel about yourself then i suggest trying to start with that because it really works and if you need any more guidance or any more support in um healing and manifesting then i have two spots available on my course um, I do coaching um, with the course like alongside of it for eight weeks um, it is one on one we take you through the healing process and then I take you through how to manifest your future so I healed my seizures I had a terrible mindset of you know not loving my body I was so insecure I felt unsafe uh, all of my trauma was suppressed it then manifested into a physical illness and i had seizures for a long time and then i learned about healing i did courses i just really dove deep into it into the deep end and now i am able to help other people heal their past and their trauma to then be able to manifest in a more effective way and that really is my calling in life i think i think it's just it suits me so well and i'm so grateful to be helping people so the link will be in the description box below if you want to sign up i only have two spots available right now and um, so yeah if you sign up i'm super grateful for you and um, or if not right now it's fine we're going to have spots in the future and um, so yeah if you enjoyed the video please leave your feedback below what you want to talk about in this next session um i'm going to be talking about this it's just it's one of the things i feel called to talk about today was just a general introduction on of this on my channel but i'm going to be diving deeper into it because i want everyone to love themselves i don't want other people to judge people for having um changes to their body i want them to just authentically love everyone but then i don't want people to have to feel like they have to change their body to be able to be loved because you're beautiful and you're amazing so if you haven't already then don't wait any longer subscribe um, and yeah i will see you guys in my next video